To me, math is a language that allows anybody to take an abstract idea and make it concrete. And all the different approaches that come in mathematics are like the different dialects. But I think of math a little bit more as a process and a, and a way to get through situations and problems. It's about gathering these tools so that you actually become smarter, so you can solve any problem that you come across. You're using math in general to really find the real meaning behind things, why things really work the way they work instead of just accepting them. Everything's interrelated, which becomes an equation. The key to that is that the more mathematics you know, the more you are aware of those relationships. The more you're aware of those relationships, the easier it is to use math to help your life be better. Usually when we think of math, we think, oh, it's something difficult, and it's only for smart people. Some of us had experience with math where we feel like our job is to mimic what someone else did, that we follow the teacher and we figure, well, if we do what the teacher did, then we know what to do, where in fact, that's not the case. The coolest thing about math is that there's so many original ways to solve a math problem. There's a hundred ways to solve a problem in math. Like, two plus two, you could just think, Arithmetically, it's just four, or you could try and graph it, or you could like give out cookies and say, here's two cookies, here's another two cookies. That's a lot of where the freedom comes from, you know, just being able to show things in different ways. The work you do is creative because some questions are like puzzles to me. All of those different aspects come together. Having a deeper understanding of mathematics and the way you think. Each student can, can go about his or her own way and come up with an original answer. There's no boundaries to it at all. The only limitation is what you can't think of. I don't like to walk around with the answers in my head because that way it's when a student says, is this right? I can genuinely say, I don't know. Tell me what you did. How did you get there? That, to me, is the interesting part. That's what people are interested in. They want to know what you think, not what someone else thinks. The road to getting there is the creative part of learning. Having more methods can make somebody more successful. The process involves the failure and then it involves you getting back up, and then it involves you succeeding at the end. Through our mistakes is really where we are able to discern, okay, this didn't work, it's okay, we gotta try a new approach, and that's where the effort factor comes back in. You don't necessarily have to be smart to do math, but you have to have the passion and try your best. Being successful in, in mathematics is no different than being successful in life. Starting with a problem, being patient with yourself, trying to come to different solutions, maybe in attacking it in different ways. It's doing things that allow you to achieve your potential. Since I'm working hard enough this year, I'm successful. Having that understanding of what you did wrong, that could also be a huge accomplishment. That understanding of, wait, I know why I didn't get it right. You have that confidence to say, you know what, I can figure this out. And I may not figure it out the way that someone else thinks I should, but I can figure it out in my own way, on my own terms. Just keep trying. <laughs> you hear about all these beautiful, complex ideas, and you're thinking, how did they, how did they figure that out? It's too much. And you just have to realize they tried things and they screwed up. They tried things and they screwed up. And eventually, somebody said, I got it! That feeling that I actually understand something, that, that feeling that I figured it out, I know it, and I completely own it. It, it becomes this whole new like thought process you get to develop. Being successful is about finding the right problem-solving method for you and being confident that you'll know how to solve each problem using that problem-solving method. You need to not be afraid of something new. Ask as many questions as you can. I mean, curiosity, as Albert Einstein said, curiosity has its own reason for existence, you know? You have to realize that what you're doing is not for your teachers, it's for yourself. You can give me answers all day long, but if you can tell me how you got to those answers, that's what's important. What makes sense to you? But now it's up to you to actually use it. And how you do that is up to you. When it all comes down to it, mathematics is really all about you, what you 